Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Beehive. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. It's actually a request that I get quite often and I've always kind of put it off and I was like, well, you know what? I'll just do it today because tonight, Charlie and I are really busy. We're actually doing a photography job tonight and so most of our evening is going to be filled with that. So I don't know how much vlogging will be done. So I said I will do this today. So it's a perfect day to do this. But anyways, today's video, I will be showing you what is on my iPhone. And disclaimer, I haven't cleaned it up. Whatever is on there, I may not even use and I may find things and think, why did I download that? And I also may find things and think, hmm, I should be using that. <laughs> so anyways, all right guys, let's get started. I'm going to put my screen on screen here for you so you can see and follow along. All right guys, so let's get started. Um, the first thing we have is the calendar. Everybody knows what that is. A lot of these items you guys are already gonna know what they are. Um, and, and we'll just kind of skim through those kind of quickly. Um, if you don't know, I have the iPhone 8 Plus um, and I do have the latest uh, installed software. So I don't, I don't know what that is, but it is installed. <laughs> All right, you can see those are just the basic iPhone apps. Um, again, here, just some of the basic iPhone apps. I use Maps, you know, uh, but other than that, I don't really use too many of these other apps. Settings, we all know what that is, right? Um, photos and video. Uh, so in this folder here, I have anything that's related to photos and video. Imagine that. Um, the first three apps here are apps that help me um, pose my subjects when I'm doing photography. Uh, Helios is a really cool app. That actually will tell you what the blue and golden hour of the day is. Those are the two best times of the day to take photos. You sync it up to your area and your time zone and it knows like the weather and things like that and it'll tell you the best time to take those pictures. So Camera Connect, um, that's my Canon app and that helps me connect my Canon DSLR to my phone. Photos, we all know what that is. If you guys wanna see a video of what's in my camera roll, let me know. There's probably interesting things in there. I've never cleaned it out. <laughs> um, camera, we all know what that is. And Huji, I think that's how you say it. That app is actually an app that Brooke had me download. It's like a, just a picture taking app. It's kind of cute and cool. GoPro, we know what that is. Everybody should know what layout is. Um, I know Instagram uses layout. Cute Cut, the Pocket Video, the Vid Me, and the Pixel Loop. I downloaded those because I think um, I must have seen like a sponsor video or a sponsored ad and I was like, hmm, I'm gonna download that. And I tried it and I've just never used it again. <laughs> Do any of you guys do that? Download the app because you've seen it on a sponsored post and then you don't really ever use it. Yeah. All right, shopping. We have Amazon, Walmart, Foodline, Poshmark, Target, My Little, eBay, Shopkick, Offer Up, Let Go, Groupon, Wish, Retail Me Not, Aldi, Scan and Go, Craigslist, Slick Deals, Top Hatter. Uh, I do not use Top Hatter. Uh, Zoom, I don't use Zoom. Grocery, I don't use that. I haven't used that. I think that's for the Walmart. Ally Express, Dollar General, JCPenney, and Sam's Club. I use actually most of these, believe it or not. Moving on to my a vegan folder. And these are apps that basically help me um, when I'm in the grocery store and if I wanna know something is vegan. I actually use this Shopwell app, which is really convenient. And you can customize that app to uh, tell what nutritional habits that you have or you know what you're if you're looking to like cut out sugars and things like that it will um, put that in the database so when you scan an item it'll tell you basically if it's a good match for you or not or if you should avoid it altogether so I have mine set up to uh, show that I'm vegan and so yeah is it vegan also is an app that does that as well it's just a backup database that I have Feel free to download those. Those are actually free apps and not just because you're vegan, just because you might want to uh, scan items and look at the ingredients. Um, the Vegan Man, that app actually is an app I downloaded last year when I went to Florida because um, it shows restaurants in your area that serve vegan uh, dishes. Yumly, I think that is just like a uh, recipe app and I don't use it very often, but I think I've used it before. 
Happy Cow, I think that's kind of the same thing as the Vig Man. It kind of shows you areas that, or restaurants in the area that sell like vegan options. Go nuts. I have no idea what this is. Okay, so these, this looks like, okay, this looks like uh, recipes, I guess. Yeah, okay. Might have to look at that again. <laughs> Ravana, um, she actually has a YouTube channel and I downloaded her app and it's actually kind of cool. She actually has some paid programs that you can join and I should maybe do that. Okay, the next thing we're gonna look at is games. Now, I go through phases with my games. Um, you guys, I'm just gonna kind of flip through here, but you can look at the games that I have. I will show you the few that I am kind of like addicted to and playing right at the moment, and that's Homescapes. Um, Lost Island is the next one, and Cut Grass. Those are my three games right now. Sneezies, actually, I will turn that on as well. Um, Charlie plays that on the iPad, but I downloaded it on here so I could help him out on his levels. So yeah, uh, those are the games that I have installed. Finance, pretty self-explanatory. These are kind of like my online apps that I use to either pay bills or uh, run transactions with Square um, when I do my photography and things like that. So we won't open up any of those. All right, next we have cooking. We have all recipes, Instant Pot, and Tasty. And that little girl back there, don't you dare get on my counter. Hey, hey, psst. She is not allowed on the counters. We're trying to teach her not to do that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't really use these apps. I downloaded them, they're there. I can use them if I want. Entertainment, Netflix, Prime Video, Pandora, Twitch, Kindle, Tubi TV, uh, YouTube Kids, and TikTok. I don't really use any of these other than Netflix, to be honest with you. Um, Pandora occasionally, but other than that, no. Uh, we have the App Store, everybody knows what that is. Snapchat, if you guys wanna follow us on Snapchat, it's our three Bs. And so yeah, go follow us on Snapchat. Messenger, everybody knows what that is. That is the Facebook Messenger YouTube app. Um, Twitter app, YouTube studios, sub count. Um, I can go in here and check our sub counts. Oh, look, we gained an extra subscriber. Welcome to the Beehive. Um, Class Dojo is actually an app that is used uh, through Ben's school where I can kind of communicate with his teachers and check up on his uh, progress and behavior. We don't really have any problems with him there, so that's good. Facebook, again, we are on Facebook, our three Bs. Go check us out. Pinterest, I love Pinterest. I actually use Pinterest quite often, especially for vegan recipes. I will um, pull that up. Here we have Instagram, and yeah, go follow us there. It's actually official our three Bs over on Instagram. Oh, and look, Fun Foods. That's our friend, Fun Foods, James. Go follow him, Fun Foods YT. Oh, and look, here's my friend Candy. Go follow her. Look, what are they doing? Look at this thirsty man in the grocery store. Ken, that is too much water. <laughs> but yeah, go follow us on Instagram, guys. Planet Fitness, I need to start using that app again, let me just tell you. YouTube Tracker, this is actually a pretty cool app I downloaded. Um, it actually just kind of tracks your progress uh, on YouTube. And what I like it for is you can, let's see, where's that awesome content? You can use these templates to like post them on your social media, which I thought was kind of cool. I downloaded it for that. Okay, then we have Remind, and that's through Ben's, um, the teacher that he goes to, AIG, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I have that to communicate with her. Work, work, work. Yes, I don't use all these guys, but I do use hashtags. That's a really cool app, and basically it helps me hashtag um, my photos on Instagram. You put in what the overall general consensus is of your photo, and what you would hashtag it, and then it will actually bring back uh, 30 hashtags that match that, um, that people use across the board. And sometimes I do have to alter them. It's not always perfect, obviously. Then we have Bitly, and I do use that 
theme bit. I used to use it and I've gotten where I really don't care for that platform that much. Um, Cameo, I downloaded it and never really set it up. Instagram TV, don't use it. <laughs> Do any of you guys use that? Influencer, uh, Influencer, I do use that. That's a pretty cool app. Dropbox, I use it occasionally. Discord, don't really. Skype, don't really. Facebook Creator, don't really. Collab Space, don't really. And another Influencer. And no, don't really. I don't really use this. Hunger. I use these mainly for the kids. <laughs> Especially the McDonald's. You can get pretty good coupons. But those are just a few of the restaurants that I have on my on my phone. Health. I don't really use any of these. I will use cardio occasionally because that um, you can check like your heart rate and things like that. This is the Mega Millions and the Powerball. You got to play to win though. So whenever I play, I will check. Great Clips, I do use that whenever the kids are going to get um, a haircut. Hilton Honors, um, I've used it before. Uh, and then if I ever stay at a Hilton, I just have it on there. I can scan it and I get like reward points. Bitmoji, it's on there. I don't really use the app. AccuWeather, I do use that. The Deeper Smart Sonar, um, we use that in the spring, summer, and fall when we are fishing. It's actually a wireless sonar that we put on the fishing pole and throw it out into the water and it shows us where all the fish are. Heads and tails, I again, one of them things, I downloaded it and I don't even use it. A holiday today, I actually do use this occasionally, you guys. All right, so let's see, today's the 15th and today is SAD day, Hippo day, National Gumdrop day, and Susan B. Anthony day. Just so you wanted to know. The Neckgear Nighthawk, I do use that. That actually controls our router here at home. Marco Polo, occasionally use it. Uh, engine, I don't use that. <laughs> Circle, I do use that occasionally. That controls all the devices on our network. So if I hear one of the kids on their device at midnight, mama shuts it off. And then I'm the bad guy. <laughs> ABC. I don't really use it that much. Um, flash tone, I don't even know what this is. What is this? I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. Why did I download that? All right, and then we have Tumblr. I don't use it too often, Etsy. And then of course, the ones across the bottom are pretty self-explanatory. But that is what is on my iPhone, you guys. What on my iPhone do I have that you also use? Or what would you recommend that I actually download? If you guys have a favorite app, and you want me to try it out, put it in the comments below. All right, guys, that's actually going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to buzz that like button. See you guys tomorrow.